Hi there, in this video I'm going to be discussing uh, kinetics of particles and more specifically um, a box sliding on a flat surface. So let me draw us a quick little diagram here. Let's zoom in. Okay. So what we have here is we're going to have a box and that box is going to have an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. The box will weigh 100 kilograms and the ground it will be sliding on will have a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0.5. So with that in mind, what we can actually do is convert this into a free body diagram, which is fairly simple in this case and may not even require another picture, but just so we know. First of all, we'll have the weight, which will be pushed downwards and then we will have the opposing normal force, which will be acting upwards. And this is the reaction force from the ground due to the, the weight of the box. And resisting the movement, we will have a friction force. Some of the generic equations that we should know right off the bat is that force equals ma, obviously. This is a key one. And another one that might be good to know is the force of friction is equal to friction factor times the normal force. Let's real, realize that this is the normal force. Great. So now that we have that all figured out, let's start off on the problem. First thing we're going to do is solve for the normal force. So. We know that the normal force is equal to the weight, which is equal to mg, which is equal to 100 kilograms multiplied by the gravity, 9.81, which equals 981 Newtons. Let's box that. Great, so now that we have the normal force is equal to 981 Newtons. Now we need to solve for the friction factor. Friction factor, looking back at our yellow equation up here, friction factor equals, or friction force equals friction factor times the normal force. So, Following that template, I'm going to do this in blue. Friction factor equals times friction force equals friction factor times normal, which is equal to 981 force times 0.5 friction factor, which equals 490 and a half newtons. That's also an important number. Great. So now what we need to do is we need to use this force equals ma to try and convert the kinetics to kinematic equations so we can determine when this box will stop. So 
what we're going to do here is we're going to say, and I'm going to do this in, uh, let's do it in red. Force, friction force equals MA. And some people ask, well, why are you doing friction force equals MA? And it's because we're trying to find what will influence the motion of the box. So, what we have here is a force of 490.5 newtons is going to affect the mass of 100 kilograms times A, the acceleration. When we divide that over, we find that acceleration is equal to 4.905 meters a second squared. There we are. Realize at this point now, we're at kinematics. We have acceleration. We're only dealing with the motion of the box now. Okay, so let's just use basic kinematic equations then. How about this one? V2 equals V1. And I'm going to say minus because it's decreasing um, the speed because it's uh, friction. So minus AT. Okay, so we have A and we have V1 because that's the initial speed. What's V2? Well, we're looking for V2 when the box has stopped would be zero. And there you go. So now we're going to solve for that. When we plug those numbers in, we'll have zero equals V1, which is 10, minus the whole variable 4.905 times t. And when you solve for all that, you'll find that t is equal to 2.039 seconds. Alright, well, I hope you found this video helpful. And what I plan to do is I plan to redo this problem, but not have it on a flat surface, have it on an incline and then also a decline. And then I'll change up the situation with different problems. But anyway, um, I just wanted to give us a feel of the effects of gravity and how it plays a role in the kinetics of particles. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, take it easy.